Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we did the repeat for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm, showing you th I'm going to show you this 2009 Nissan X-Trail four-wheel drive capable that just came in. It's got 94,500 kilometers on it, which is approaching 59,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price is seen on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you go, uh, you, even before you get yourself a driver's licenses, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to let you know, uh, or I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Nissan X-Trail is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two options to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you wanna put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Two things I wanna show you. First one, uh, before you go inside, first one, the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's gonna give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You gotta keep that dash as cool as possible. So you may wanna consider, in addition to uh, that uh, uh, sun windshield visor, is to get yourself a uh, dash cover. Or if you wanna keep it simple, get yourself a nice size bath towel or a beach towel, lighter in color, and drape that across. Now, obviously, you don't wanna cover the, uh, the vents. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this thing started. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty. It's not too bad. All right. Uh, key fob on your person. Uh, foot on brake. You're just going to crank it over as if the key was already in there. Now, if this key fob battery dies, you can uh, take this out like a regular key and insert it in there. That just goes straight in. Okay. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right. 94,638 on the odometer. Show a couple of warning lights. That one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that one over here, that is your emergency brake. This one is a hand brake, so when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, shred head instrument cluster. That thing pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. And this is uh, part of the four-wheel drive. I'm gonna put it on two-wheel drive, this way that goes off, okay? But it, especially if it's red, anything pops up on that's red, please pull over as soon as possible, okay? Um, off to the left here, on top of the dash, you have a little compartment for uh, storage. And then you got a um, little compartment above and below the uh, radio. Then you have your radio. This one does have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls, power outlet, little space here for coins or whatnot. Uh, your um, four-wheel drive, optional. So you have two-wheel drive, auto, and lock. The lock is gonna give you the four-wheel drive. Then it does have heated seats. I believe this is for the front too, and I believe this is for the back. And this has parking assist on the uh, hill. I think that's what that is. Don't hold me 100%. Shifter, handbrake, cup holders, then a uh, uh, center console slash armrest. That's gonna give you a little extra space. Off to the left here, you have this uh, two-tier uh, glove box, okay? And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You get your red row flare hanging out. And then this is the space I have on my side. Oh, the seat wasn't back all the way. The seat is now all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I can drive as is, but I would probably slide it up a couple inches to be a little more comfortable driving. All right, let's go eye level. Oh, it does have a compartment for your sunglasses as well. Let's go eye level, that's my eye level. See, most of the hood, not all of it, but uh, most. Come all the way back. Now, I'm gonna touch on those in a minute. But normally there's a time I uh, show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, uh, I, I put those in the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on a sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. 
will help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. Let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Now this one does have um, cup holders on each side of the dash. Okay. And then this guy over here is going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. And then on the, um, oh, underneath there, you do have your hood release. And then you do have your uh, mirror, door lock, and window controls right here. It looks like it has an ETC, I just don't know where it is. That's not it. Let's see. Alright, I don't know where it is. It's typically over here somewhere, but it's not. But you have an ETC reader somewhere, which I can't find right now, so I'm going to find it later and let you know. Alright, so let's go to the, the back seat here. Alright. Let's uh, go in here. As I'm multitasking here. Alright. So with the seat all the way down, all the way back. Let me see. Hold on one second. I'm about a, uh, about a half inch away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, each seat back does have pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You can see it doesn't have a lot of give. You don't want to rip it on each side. A little bit of storage on each door panel. Okay. And then it does have the all important vents over here. You want to make sure these are facing the right way. So the left one should be facing up and towards the left a little bit. The right one should be facing up and towards the right a little bit. And you got to make sure this is in the top position. This the little tab is uh, all the way top. Uh, I do have cup holders down here. And it does have a center armrest that does come down. You got to pull up on this tab and then it locks into place. And it stays level. You do have to pull it back out to pull it, uh, push it back up. Okay. So let's go to the back here. I'm going to show you something. Well, first, let me show you the seats real quick. So there are tabs here. You got a little uh, tab right here and it's also over there. So you're going to do that if you want to lay the seats down flat. That's going to lift this up and uh, over. You're going to make a 90 degree angle out of this. You're going to take the seat, uh, the um, headrest off and then it's going to lay down flat and it's going to be like a 90 degree, but this will lay flat with the back. Okay. And then these, these are going to go bye-bye. We have the regular stock ones uh, inside with the normal tires. Those are snow tires. So this came in like this with the uh, four normal tires, regular and probably all season or whatnot. They're in good shape. So we're going to put these on and those are going to come off. If you purchase this before we do that, if you want both sets, I'll give you both sets, okay? If not, then you're only going to get these that are on the vehicle. And then it has a hard plastic here uh, on it. So if you uh, put those seats down and lay them down flat, you have the hard plastic on the seats as well. And this does have a, a, a drawer here, okay, that you can uh, put storage. And this goes all the way back, okay? And then this does come up as stow and go. Obviously, I can't do that now, but it will come up. Now, some of these do have two drawers, but this one only has the one drawer, okay? And it does have... I thought it had an extra power outlet, I guess not, okay? So let's go to the front here, we're gonna show you the engine compartment. Then we're gonna wrap this video up and I forgot to show you the second thing. It does have the roof rack, uh, if you wanna, or the uh, slots there, if you wanna put roof racks or crossbars, very easy to do. See, being out of the sun, it gets to you, fries your brain. And here you have a two liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you go, 2009 Nissan X-Trail, four wheel drive capable. Uh, 90, 94 and a half thousand kilometers on it, which again, about uh, approaching 59,000 miles. Military prices down to 6,300. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,100. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6,100 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. And we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have. Check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes. Best Pacific Magazines, best place to buy a car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.